A reading from the Gospel of Mark. The apostles returned to Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. And he said to them, Come away by yourselves to a lonely place and rest a while. For many were coming and going, and they had no leisure even to eat. And they went away in the boat to a lonely place by themselves. Now many saw them going and knew them, and they ran there on foot from all the towns and got there ahead of them. As he landed, he saw a great throng, and he had compassion on them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. The Gospel of the Lord. and sisters, this weekend we have two great lessons in this short gospel from Mark chapter 6. This uh, passage that we just hear comes right before the feeding of the 5,000 when Jesus multiplies the fish and the loaves to feed 5,000 and and has extra. This is setting the stage for that great miracle of the Lord feeding in abundance. So before we even get to the point of receiving this abundant blessing from God, the multiplication of loaves, the feeding of 5,000, we learn these two key things, these two important aspects in the gospel. The first thing, the disciples returned to Jesus. They talked about all they had done and taught. And he says, let's go away to a lonely place. Let's go to a deserted place. Let's go to a quiet place and rest a while. The Lord saw the need, the necessity, of taking time aside to slow down after a lot of work. The disciples come back and they're full of joy at all that they've been doing in the name of the Lord to preach the gospel. But the Lord still reminds them, these are great works, these are great things you're doing, but you still must slow down. You must be still and know that I am God. You must come away to a deserted place and rest a while. The first thing we learn this weekend is the need for sacred rest. Time to slow down and to be still. The life we live in is, the life we live and the world we live in is so chaotic. It's crazy, it's, it's going nonstop. The Lord is reminding us of the necessity to slow down and to fight, to fight the urge to get sucked into this, this chaotic uh, rat race of life. The second thing, the disciples go away with Jesus for a while. They get in the boat to go across the sea to this lonely place, this deserted place for a rest. But it says many people saw them going and they knew them. They knew where they were going, so they ran there on foot. The second thing that we can learn to for preparing ourselves to receive the Lord's great blessings is that we have to to spiritually prepare ourselves to receive his blessings. These people ran on foot so they could be ready to welcome the Lord when he comes and in welcoming him to receive his blessing. Brothers and sisters, if we do not live in a state of grace, free of sin, sins that we've confessed and gotten forgiveness of, if we do not live in a state of grace, we will not be disposed to receive God's blessings. We have to do the work on our part to prepare our heart and souls to receive His love and grace. These are two things that we learn from this weekend's gospel. For the great feeding of the 5,000, the need to spend time in quiet solitude and the need to prepare our souls to receive His blessings. If we're not receiving the Lord's blessings, instead of getting mad at God and wondering why He's not blessing us, let us humbly examine our own lives and make sure that we are spending time in quiet solitude and make sure that we are living in a state of grace. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.